small watch the clock hey everyone so i hope you're all doing well welcome back to another video and of course as always this video doesn't need an introduction it is only my monthly primark haul and guys this month i have gone absolutely crazy i'm gonna say it now this is probably the biggest primark haul i have ever done on my channel and you guys know when it comes to primark I don't take my shopping in there lightly, like I always go in, I always like to find the goods and yeah, a little bit blown away by everything that I picked up, they really do have some good stuff in at the moment, they've got all the spring stuff, loads of summer stuff as well and as I always say with Primark, if you see the goodness now, you have to get it else it just really does go. So yeah, I've combined it all together, I don't even want to know what the total of this all combined was, so I shopped in the Fast Park store and the Manchester one, the Manchester Centre one, just for reference in case you want to know. I feel like my voice is going already. What is going on? I feel like it's really deep. Oh god, this isn't a good sign. I actually just want to say a massive thank you to Primark for gifting me a hundred pound voucher towards this haul. I say towards because, like I said, there was hundreds of pounds spent here. So yeah, anyway, that's just mind blowing in itself. So thank you so much to Primark for gifting me that. We're gonna get straight into it, gals. Um, I need to decide what I'm gonna be returning and what I'm gonna be keeping. I did get so much summer stuff. I mean, I don't even have a holiday plan, but like I said, you know, when you see things and you're like, oh, I need to get it. Um, I have got a ton of workwear stuff in here as well. I am actually going to do a separate workwear lookbook with all of this. Just showing you how to get the most of the bits I got. Like showing you like different ways to wear like the jacket and stuff for work. There was some really cute work stuff in there. Like when I was looking through the rails, I was like, oh my god, I wish I had a 9 to 5 right now. This would be so cute for work. So anyway, I'm going to shut up and save my voice. Like I said, get comfy for this one, girls, because... You may be here a while. So how I'm going to do this one, rather than sit and show you things out of the bag and then try on, we're just going to jump straight into the dry on. So grab yourself a cuppa and if you want to see what I got from Primark, then please continue watching. Okay, so jumping straight into the first thing that I picked up from Primark and it is a good one. It was one of those items that as soon as I saw sitting on the rails, it was straight in the basket. Do you know when you see something in Primark and you're like, oh my goodness, is that actually for real? Is that Primark? And it is this faux suede, sort of like top jacket it's not an outerwear garment it's something that i would just wear maybe with a little top underneath and if it's warm enough then go outside in i'm gonna come in and show you so this is what it looks like it's in ivory sort of like i'm gonna say cream though it's not like pure white um it's got little pockets here with these beautiful buttons on it has popper buttons running all the way down it long sleeve again pop a little button on the sleeve as well really nice detailing and it also has a tight waist belt which you guys know i'm a fan of um i got this in a size 10 wasn't the cheapest of primark and with it not being an outerwear item as well yeah a little bit pricey but it's very suede so i think that's what you're paying for it was 25 pound but I don't know, I think it's worth every single penny. It's really beautiful quality, it's so soft. I've sold it with some faux leather trousers, some sort of biker boots. These are from Pretty Little Thing, but I look actually do a very similar pair in there, I've noticed. So yeah, maybe keep an eye out for that. Oh, stuff on the floor. Yeah, absolutely adore this for a day to day outfit. They do have this in another colour, which I'm going to show you now, because of course I had to pick it up. So I'm going to drop that on. Of course, it was a no-brainer. I had to get it in brown as well. I was standing in Primark and thinking, oh, do I get the brown? Do I get the ivory? I was honestly debating for the longest time because it was £25. It wasn't the cheapest. I already brought my bill up to £50. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to get them both. Decide at home. Now, this one may look a little bit different. And it's because I actually got it in a size 14. So they didn't have any of the sizes left in this. But when I was actually looking at them, I did notice that they look really small. They're in a suede sort of fabric. So I think that's why, because there's not a lot of stretch to them. Um, I actually wish I got the other one in a 14 too because, yeah, I just like the fit of this a lot more. I think with these sorts of styles, I like them a little bit longer in the body, longer in the sleeves. Um, and also because you have the tie waist, you can still sort of cinch yourself in and make it flatter in, not like a drowned rat or anything. So yeah, I really, really love this one. I love the colour. Oh, they're so comfy. Go in Primark, try this on and tell me how comfy this is because I feel like I'm in the softest thing ever. Um, I'll just quickly show you this one up close as well just so you can see the colour. Um, but yeah, it just say brown on the tag. I feel like I'm looking here and I can't even really see the colour. My eyes are just so confused right now. So yeah, this is it in brown. Like I said, got this one in a 14, the other in a size 10. Personally, I would size up in these. So 12, 14 upwards if you're an 8 maybe. If you want that oversized sort of look. But yeah, first one I know, massive thumbs up. 
let's carry on okay next up a full primark outfit apart from the boots and the bag um i actually got the jacket in my last primark haul if you haven't already watched that i'll leave the link in the description bar and you can go and watch that because i did get some lovely pieces there but the items i actually picked up on this visit are the trousers and the bodysuit i'm going to come in and show you this because i feel like you need to see it um so as you can see this is actually see-through. Oh God, that looks awful. You can see my bra right underneath it. So before anyone asks why I didn't just go and put a black strapless bra on, they're in the wash. So I only just realized, and obviously you can't wear um, a full strap bra with this. It's a little bit see-through this top. But if you haven't already noticed with this top, it's almost like a little bit of a Zara tube. I'm pretty sure unless you have been living under a rock, you have saw sort of racist style bodysuits that Zara do at the moment. They're in like a double stinky sort of fabric. Loads of celebs have been wearing them. I've just seen them everywhere on Instagram and everyone raving about them. Um, and yeah, this is pretty similar. But unfortunately the quality just isn't as good primark you've let us down you needed to double up on the fabric and this would have been perfect um but yeah for five pound i think maybe if you put a black bra on it would look a lot better it's a really nice fit just to show you about the see-throughness and sheerness of the fabric this is five pound and i got it in a size six to eight for reference and then i've just simply teamed with it these beautiful faux leather trousers now I would never normally go for a colour like this in a photo of a pair of trousers. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd get these and try them. They're in like a light beige, I'm going to say. What does it say on the tag? It's going to say ivory or something. Yeah, ivory. It says ivory, but they're definitely like a, yeah, like a cream colour, an off-white. Um, so yeah, these are £15. Got them in a size 6. They fit really nice and comfy. I was trying to look what size to get because, as always, you never know what size to get in Primark. And they did look a little on the big side, so that's why I thought, oh, I'll get a six because I think I'll get into them okay. And then, like I said, the jacket is Primark as well. Um, and I didn't get this too long ago, so it may still be in. So the whole outfit in total, guys, was £45 for Primark, which absolute bargain and um, again starting with all the biker boots black bag and um, yeah i really really like this look something a little bit different but i feel like it works quite well okay next up something a little bit different to me it's not often that i actually wear shirts but i come across this one in primark and i just absolutely loved the color of it do you know when you're just drawn to a color and you're like oh i'm actually gonna get that so yeah let me come in and show you so it's just this beautiful sort of olive green shirt and i really like the pockets adds that sort of like utility cargo vibe um i got it in an eight i thought you could dress this in a lot of different ways so you could go casual with trainers and like throw over trousers like i have on now or you could put your boots on for a little bit more of a dressier vibe or you could even wear this for the office and put some like nice smart trousers on some heels and yeah just make it a little bit more office appropriate but I just thought this was a great chuck on. Like I said, super versatile as well. Um, it was, sorry, I had to look in the mirror to find the price. 10 pound, so 10 pound, really nice quality. Probably could have done with a little bit of an iron, but yeah. Okay, so I definitely feel a little bit out of my style comfort zone right now. This is definitely something that I wouldn't normally wear, but again, you can see the color. It's that beautiful light green color, and I just can't help but be drawn to this. Um, I actually saw this blazer in the Nottingham Primark, but they didn't have the matching bottoms. So I thought, oh, there's not really any point getting just the blazer. Like I wanted the bottoms to go with it. But then I went into the Manchester store and they had the bottoms too. Very disappointed to see that they were collapsed. That wouldn't have been my first choice of bottoms to go with this. I would have liked like a tapered straight leg pair of trousers. Like how beautiful would that have been? Primark buyers, if you're watching, make some tapered like straight leg trousers and that honestly would sell out. Um, yeah, I just feel like collapsed just not for everyone. I feel like especially when you've got such a fitted jacket on the top half, collapsed just sort of make it look... I don't know, can someone give me the word? But I'm sure you know what I'm on about. Um, let me come and show you anyway. So this is the blazer top. So really, really stunning color. I love the color. It is a little bit small. I got this in a size eight and it feels really tight on the sleeves. Do you know when you like trying to move and there's not a lot of stretch to it? So if you are gonna get this, I definitely size up. Cause yeah, there isn't a lot of room at all. Um, and then it has a nice tie waist. Oh, I just love it. Like I love the color of it. But then the trousers, just not so much. I just feel like Colotte's just those awkward pair of trousers. I don't know, like, I used to love them when they was like really on trend a few years ago, if anyone remembers, but 
I'm just not so sure on them now. But yeah, personally, I won't be keeping this. Not really for me. Um, I got the whole outfit in a size 8. The bottoms were 15. The top was 20. So £35. So really inexpensive. Um, and nice if you've got somewhere to wear it. If it is a little bit of you style wise. As always, really nice quality. Um, and good value for money. But personally, for me and my style, I just don't know if I would wear this. And, and just if I like the trousers. I feel like they're too floaty for me. So yeah gonna be a no okay so i feel like we're moving on to some more spring sort of summer stuff i do have a couple more cords to show you which could be worn now um but yeah anyway next thing i picked up was this beautiful smock dress i absolutely love a smock dress for spring summer i feel like they're really easy to wear they're really comfy as well you haven't got to worry about a food belly in a smock dress because they are so loose fitting um, and you can get away with it if that makes sense a little bit different for me actually with the sleeves because they're puff sleeves but I don't know, I was really drawn to this again. So this was £13, just a reference, I got it in a size, did I get this in a size 10? These were honestly selling out fast. This was the only size 10 left. There was no size 8, no size 6, no size 4s. There was honestly hardly any of these left. So I just got a 10 because I thought, well, it's sort of like worn oversized anyway, so it's fine. Let me come in and show you. So it is, as you can see, sort of like this collar smock dress um, with the buttons just going up. The buttons stop sort of like, Midway down, just there, has these beautiful sort of puff sleeves and it's elasticated here, which is a really nice detailing. I really like that. Wish it'd stay open a little bit more though. Um, but yeah, really love that top half. And then as you can see, just goes into this beautiful sort of floaty smock dress. It's got sort of like ruffle pleats in, whatever, whatever they're called. Not a very accurate description from me, but I'm sure we can probably see. I think going into spring, this would look really cute with some like chunky style boots. And then as we go into the summer, you could obviously just put a little pair of like slip-on sandals flat shoes and um, this is not really lovely for work as well like i'd totally wear this to work probably like not as open um but yeah love this 13 pound good little basic for spring summer little bit see-through but i probably will just wear like a little pair of shorts or something underneath just to make sure that problem is non-existent um so yeah love Okay, so as I mentioned, Primark have a ton of different coordinates in there at the moment. There's so many different colours and I really wanted to pick a couple of different ones up just to try on, see how they look, show you guys. And yeah, that's what I did. So first one I picked up was this sort of like petrol blue, I'm going to say. Petrol blue, very precise. But yeah, it's sort of like a dark shade of blue, almost grey. Let me see what it actually says in the tag oh it does say petrol i was right I wouldn't normally go for something like this but i do like a coordinate so i thought i would just try it on and see how it all fits in the shop it was actually styled with the sleeves turned back that isn't really my vibe so i've let them down to a more longer sleeve um so yeah the top is simply just a long sleeve sort of blazer-esque floaty top it's not a very structured or thick blazer it's a more floaty thinner looser style and then you can simply tie it up just here you could wear a little top underneath if you wanted to it depends how you're going to wear it and where you're going to wear it for yeah i actually quite like it looking at it on the hanger i wasn't so sure but i thought oh show it in let's try it on and see how it looks this is 20 pound i've got a size 10 it's a little bit big so i probably could have got away with size 8 in this actually um just to make it less oversized and then for the trousers i got a size 8 in these i honestly can't even describe what fabric this is it's really soft it definitely needs an iron though that's for sure um but yeah bottoms just simply a straight leg pair of bottoms they are actually drawstring so if i just come and show you the tops of them if you can see that they're actually elasticated and drawstring, which is really, really nice. They're so unbelievably comfy. Bottoms are £13. So this outfit in total is £33. Again, really inexpensive. I actually really like this on. I think it's really comfy. And I'm not sure what occasion I'd wear it for, though. That's the only thing. Let me know where you would wear this. I think if you put a little top underneath, you could definitely wear this to work. And it'd be like a nice office outfit. But yeah, this is the next outfit. Okay, sorry. This definitely is a little bit of me workwear-wise. If I had 9 till 5 now, I would be so excited to wear this. So anyone else get that feeling when they buy something new for work and they're almost just itching to go to work so they can wear their new outfit. Was, was that just me? Anyway, like I said, continuing on with the coordinate try-on, and they also had this style in Primark. Again, there was a couple of different colours. Can't quite remember off the top of my head which ones. I think they did it in black 
or I'm not too sure. But anyway, I opted for the light beige one and I really, really like this, guys. I actually think you could wear it in numerous ways, not just for work. They are really versatile pieces that you could just take and style for every day. I've just opted for like work wear though. So the blazer is a size 10 and only £15. What an absolute bargain. The trousers. £13 in size 8. So I don't mean how, I need to get the care page right here. 15 plus 13 is 28. So blazer and trousers, less than £30, £28. Such a bargain. Do you think that the blazer's a little short on the sleeves? Like, considering this is a size 10, like if I go like that, there's not a lot of length. I like long sleeves. So yeah, I would note that. But yeah, another really affordable sort of like work rest style outfit. Okay, next up, so just a little chuck on basic. I'm not gonna stay too long on this because there's not really a lot to say. But they had this beautiful, just sort of lightweight knitwear jumper. Um, I'm gonna come in and show you. Just thought it was something a little bit different. A nice chuck on for day to day. You know I love to wear black. Um, I got this in a size 10. It was 10 pounds, it's not the biggest. I thought of sizing by one, it would be a little bit more slouchy than it is, but it's not, so I probably would have gone to maybe like a 12, because um, I like it like slouchy. But yeah, just something easy to chuck on with some very trousers, boots, and a bag. Okay, next up I've started this again as a little bit of a workwear outfit, and I am obsessed with these two items. So, first up is the blouse. How stunning is this puff sleeve blouse? Oh, let me come in and show you the details on this. I'm all for these big, like, oversized puffy sleeves at the moment. They seem to be really, really on trend. Um, I just think it adds something a little bit different to your average plain blouse, and I'm actually all for it. So let me just run you through what size I got. Let me have a look. Size A, 13 pound, so really inexpensive. I did notice they do these in a few different colors as well in Primark, so there was a blue, I think there's another colour, I'm not too sure, so you'd have to check. So yeah, I really love this shirt, and I actually just would wear this in my day-to-day -day wardrobe as well. Um, but then, as you can see, I've just styled it with these almost like jogger-like trousers. So they're like joggery with the elasticated waist and the tie waist, um, but then they go into a straight leg. They're not a typical trouser. I'm honestly trying to find what the fabric or just how to describe these, but yeah. Go and feel for yourself. They have like a really soft, almost like brushed feel to them. That's how I'm going to describe them. Um, but yeah, they're a really nice fit. They're so comfy. Got these in a size 8. These were 13. The blouse was 15. And I just think this looks so spa. Would be lovely for work. Again, just teamed it with some perspex heels in my little black bag. Um, so yeah, the versatility is really there. But I love these. Okay, and the last sort of spring piece I've got to share with you before I move on to sort of more summer. Um, is this sleeveless coat? jacket i'm gonna call it can anybody remember when these were all in a few years ago i used to have so many in all different colorways it come across this in primark and i mean i don't know if these are back in or not but i thought i'd get it because i thought it looked really cute again it would look really lovely for workwear or if you just need to dress that a little bit smarter um i probably would put a top on underneath again but i've not for now and um, so this is what it looks like so it's almost like a stone like a really light beige stone color it's got a beautiful twist shell belt um, it has two buttons that it does up with as well and then yeah it just goes down to this like long line sleeveless jacket um, I teamed it with the black trousers that I just had on sort of like jogger-esque straight trousers again from Primark I don't know, I just thought this was a little bit different, quite smart, classy, something you could wear again for work, providing you've got something underneath so you're not flashing. It's £23, I got it in a size 8. The sizing's a bit iffy, I probably would have got sized to a 10, um, just because... I don't know, it is a little tight, and if you're layering up underneath as well, if you're going to put like a long sleeve underneath, then yeah, I would probably size up. Okay, so I know we're definitely not here with the weather yet for these next few items that I'm going to share with you, but like I said, I always feel like with Primark, if you want to get your spring, summer stuff, you have to get it now. The time June, even May comes around, I always feel like they're starting to prep for autumn, winter, so yeah, I am definitely not taking any chances this year and grabbing everything that I would like for spring, summer. I'm shopping ahead. Um, so, first thing I picked up was this absolutely beautiful puff sleeve shirt dress. So, just like the shirt that I showed you, they also do a similar version in a dress. And I am totally here for this. I feel like it looks really classy, really stylish. I keep a little belt around the middle just to cinch it in a little bit because it was quite oversized. Oh, are we going to focus here? There we go. Um, so, the belt was actually Primark as well. This was £5. And yeah, as you can see, puff sleeve again, elasticated there. 
Um, I'd probably like open this up a little bit more. And then it goes down to like a really reasonable length. Like it goes just past my knees. This is actually in the sort of beach wear section. The beach and bikinis. That, is that even a section in Primark? But yeah, where the bikinis were, it was within there. So I don't know if they're sort of seeing this as a cover up. But I would just definitely wear this as a day dress. Little bag. Sandals. I think this would be perfect. So um, the sizings, they seem to come big. They looked very big anyway. So I got a six and um, 13 pounds. So really inexpensive just for a casual everyday. Okay, so again, another sort of summer basic for every day. Perfect for holiday as well. And it is, it's absolutely beautiful navy play suit. So this is actually a navy, not really a colour that I normally go for, but I love the polka dot print. Um, and I just think this looks so much more expensive than seven pound, seven pound. Such a bargain. Like I said, I always struggle to find things like this just for everyday chuck-ons for the summer. So whenever I do see them in Primark, I get super excited. Got this in a size eight again. It's a little bit tight actually. I mean, I know I have put on weight, um, but yeah, it's a little bit tight around the arms. So I probably would have sized to a 10 because there isn't that much room in it. Um, it just does look really nice with buttons. Just got this sort of like V-neck. Really, really cute for every day. Teamed it with just like my typical summer wooden bag and a pair of sandals. Okay, we're gonna move on to shorts now. So I picked up quite a few different pairs of shorts for the spring and summer. Again, just thought they are perfect for day to day and also when you're on holiday and again, you just need something to chuck on, they're ideal for that. I'm not mad about tight fitting shorts, if I'm honest. I normally like them a little bit baggier and looser. Um, so yeah, definitely not the first pair that I picked up. So the first pair I picked up were these high-waisted, tie-waist denim ones. I got these in a size eight. They were 13 pounds. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm gonna feel really uncomfortable trying all of these on. Just because I have put on a little bit more weight and I'm probably not the heaviest I've ever been to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, these are the first pair. They fit really nice and comfy. Like, they are really comfortable. But I don't know. I just like the loose style denim shorts if that makes sense. So yeah, I'll just come in so you can see. Uh, let me try another pair on and we'll see what they're like. Okay, so I've just found a little black top. I don't know where this has come from, but anyway. Um, next pair of shorts, I absolutely love. These are definitely more of my sort of style when it comes to shorts. Um, and these little like paper bag again, sort of almost, oh, what is that fabric called? They're almost in like a linen style fabric. Um, they've got a tie waist belt as always. I got them in a size eight and these were, I think these were eight pound. Let me have a look. Yeah, these were eight pound. Now I really, really like these. I like them a lot better compared to them denim ones. These are definitely sort of like me in a short. I like them a lot more like baggier and floatier. Um, I find personally for me they're a little bit more plattering. I also feel like pretty little thing have a similar pair to these as well. Um, so yeah, I think this will look really, really nice in the summer. Okay, and next up are these khaki shorts. I don't think I actually own any khaki shorts, so I thought these are something a little bit different, and I absolutely love these. They feel so soft. Again, they're in that sort of like like a brushed cotton, I'm gonna say. Um, they've got a tie waist, they're paper bag, they have pockets, which I absolutely love. Um, they're not too tight as well. I actually got these in a size 10, um, so I upsized. I think I probably would just upsize to a 10 in shorts, just because I feel like when you get the smaller sizes, they get really small on the length, but I don't like that. I like longer length shorts. Yeah, they are a bit big around the waist, but because you've got that tie waist, it cinches you in, so that's perfect. I'm just gonna do a little twist on. Um, I also got these in a sort of like beigey brown color, is it? Um, I, think, I think that's it. I'm gonna put them on and show you as well, but yeah, I really like these ones too. Okay, and this is what the beige pair looks like. Now, I actually got these in size eight. Um, I would definitely get a 10, just because the 10s are looser around the thigh area, um, and yeah, I just like the feel and fit of the 10s more. They had a lot more room in, um, and I feel like this fabric doesn't have a lot of stretch either. Um, there's a lot of stretch around the waist, which is good because it's elasticated. But yeah, I actually like these shorts, but I would get a size up. Moving on to the last outfit. The last one I picked up was this knitted blue top. Now, I saw this in the Manchester store. I actually got it from the Fast Park one, I think. And I showed mum and I said, oh, I've got that off my haul. And she was like, oh, that, that's horrible. But you know when you have a vision in your head, um, it really reminded me of my pink one that I had from Zara. If you guys remember my little pink outfit, um, I had a knitted pink top with some pink straight leg trousers, exactly like this. And oh, I loved it. It was one of my favorite outfits ever. So yeah, 
So I've got the same vibes on this top. So I thought this would look really nice with either a white pair or I'm going to actually look for a blue pair. Um, maybe just slightly darker than this. And I think that would be such a stunning outfit. But yeah, this top just gave me all the summer vibes. I thought this would be so nice for like drinks, um, evening out, on holiday, or just in the summer in the UK. Um, how much was this top? So I got a size extra small, which is a six to eight, and it was eight pounds. And yeah, this is how I would wear it. Just a little 12 for you there. Um, yeah, I actually really like this, guys. Maybe probably a different bra underneath because it is a little bit sheer, but yeah. I really, really love this. Okay, moving on to the last couple of bits that I picked up. Um, I picked up a pair of pajamas, a bag, and I also picked up a pair of like trousers, like beach appropriate, I'm gonna say. I'll show you them in a minute. I'm not gonna try them on. Um, first thing is this bag. You guys went crazy with this bag last time I called. I got it in black, five pound, absolute bargain. Very like designer dupe-esque. It has a crossbody strap as well. I don't actually own a nude beige toned bag. So yeah, just thought I'd pick this up because it was five pounds. I need to get out of the habit of always wearing black bags with everything. I need to switch it up. So yeah, got that. Uh, and that was from the Manchester store, just in case you're wondering. I then picked up these little pajamas. Now these are actually um, recycled fabric. And in the Manchester Primark, they had a whole section where, I'm not too sure what it was entitled, but they had all sort of like spa style candles body creams like with like lavender and stuff in then they had all this like comfy loungewear and it was all sort of recycled fabric and oh yeah this is what it's called wellness the wellness section they had a whole section called wellness in manchester anyway i picked up these they had the cutest most softest comfortable loungewear set in there but they only had a small in the bottoms and they looked massive so yeah, I just got this instead. Just a really cute white ribbed pair of pyjamas. These are the shorts and then there's just a little cami top to go with. Oh, they are so incredibly soft. Make sure you feel these if you see them in your store. And then just to quickly show you the trousers that I've got as well. These are elasticated top, um, floaty, and they've got like a side split. They're just like really floaty black trousers. I thought these would be like a really good chuck on if you're going on a beach holiday um, and you just need some trousers to chuck on and then you can just put a little like crop top over as well. These again were in the sort of like holiday shop section and they were um, eight pounds. So yeah, oh God, I feel like out of breath. I feel like I've been speaking at 100 miles per hour, but I really didn't want to make this too lengthy and rambly. I have a ton of beauty stuff to show you as well, but I feel like I'm going to save that for another video because there's so much and I'm quite conscious that I've kept you long enough already. Uh, this is probably going to be a very long video. So yeah, I'm going to go. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you aren't already. I do product hauls every single month. Um, and yeah, leave me a comment and let me know what your favourite pieces were in the comments bar. And I shall see you all in my next video. Bye bye.